there is no more rapture there is no hell or heaven <sighs> darkness does not scare light knowledge never bows to ignorance rant all you want to rant shout all you want to shout what you don't know is bigger than you but well, they think they are being sarcastic no you are not being sarcastic you are just submitting to superior knowledge heaven is a word in the greek euphoranios it means immaterial that god lives in the immaterial reality it's a reality but it's immaterial it is not a place that you can touch with your bare hands that's where god lives the immortality it has no restriction he lives on the inside of the believer you cannot stop falsehood you didn't stop false prophets you didn't stop people who said god is oil in a bottle you couldn't stop people who say you know handkerchief is mantle dirty handkerchief my advice to you is i have a free discipleship class it's free i'm not going to charge you i will take you through the fundamentals of scripture me and you will read the bible together and i will show you and disciple you properly wash out all those useless religious junks and help you develop a vibrant relationship with god you've played too much religion my friend and my message to you today is come out of religion and embrace the reality which is christ the reality of god in humanity I how many are ready for the rapture if you're not ready you know your spirit heaven at last so they use that to tie believers you don't understand see you don't understand when i preach to you a doctrine of heaven at last what it does is i put you under pressure and under control and i have the remote in my hand because i have pointed you to a destination that you have not yet arrived that means for you to arrive there will be qualifications so I use those qualifications to keep controlling you even though there is nothing like that. So you are, you are hoping for what does not exist and you are being manipulated for somebody's personal gain. Because ultimately, the beneficiary of your actions in your bid to make heaven at last is the pastor that is manipulating you. Because now I can tell you, since you are not yet there, you will have to get there. There's a place called there, heaven at last. We will not know whether you will enter or not till that day. In order for you to qualify, one, two, three, four, five. And any time you are not able to measure up, I put a reminder. So I keep flogging you and you keep trying you try you're almost dying but of what use will be your death if you cannot make it so even at the point of death you are still trying to make it meanwhile the preacher who told you those things is not doing those things because he himself know he has already arrived wicked men on the pulpit paul calls them witches oh foolish galatians who has bewitched is a bewitchment they use it to collect your money they use it to make you do their kind of evangelism so he has to keep that battle he has to fight and make you keep looking for heaven at last we come to you in the honesty of our hearts not looking for anything to benefit from you and we tell you it's not heaven at last it's heaven at first so that you can be in rest as you walk with god then they call us heretics can you see blackmail but we are too old for that blackmail the day you got born again was the day you made heaven and you cannot be lost once you enter you have entered there are things we just assume just like the word rapture and then when you read the bible you won't see the word rapture it's not there from genesis to revelation there's no word rapture in the bible see and people just use it without knowing what it means for instance when you see the word resurrection of the dead in the bible or quicken your mortal body that is rapture if the spirit of him that raised christ from the dead dwelleth in your mortal body that same spirit shall quicken that quickening is what theologians coin as rapture so christ in you is rapture except you don't have christ if you have christ inside you you will be raptured rapture means resurrection or 
mortality swallowed by immortality so once you are born again you are rapturable it's not a prayer point it's your reality in christ are we teaching good here so it's knowing the right words and i like using the right words so when you say rapturable how does a man become rapturable the spirit that raised christ from the dead gave birth to that man romans 8 11. so that makes that man rapturable hello guys welcome to the show i hope everyone is doing just fine and if this is your first time on this platform please do us a favor by liking this video and also if you enjoy what we do if you think that what we do here is of um, benefit to you and uh, you wish to support us you can do that by simply subscribing to the channel that help us a lot and uh, we shall forever be grateful to you thank you for doing just that so before we continue with our conversation for today i just want to ask you how are things working out in your life how are the goals and the plans that you've put in motion going along are they going as you hope they would or not and if not because i know things are always much more difficult than we ever thought they could so i know you might be facing some difficulties and if that be the case what are you doing to fix that problem what are you doing to come out of the situation that you are facing remember hard work is a major way to success and the only those who gave up actually failed. If you never gave up, if you never surrender, if you just kept on working hard and then put your head on the ground, you know, just kept on going, slowly but surely you will get there. You will get there. So whatever your plans are, keep working on them. Whatever your dreams and aspirations are, keep working on them. So, you know, like I said before, right, this whole born-again Christianity have become too controversial in Africa, and the, it looks like there are two different camps in the Christianity in Africa. There are those who believe in heaven at last, and there are those who believe in heaven at first. Now, I don't know which one is right, which one is wrong, but this is what I know. I know for sure that in order for you to make people obedient, you have to frighten them. In order for you to keep people under your clutches, you have to make them feel like they are in danger. A constant reminder of what could happen to you if you go the other way keeps you in place keeps you in check so i know that very well and the men of god are masters of that tactic they understand how scaring the people can make them obedient and i'm sure a hundred percent sure they are using it to the best of their ability they are telling Christian, if you don't do this, this will happen. Constantly reminding them of the danger that lies ahead if they move away from God or from the principles the man of God has put in place. I told you about my worry on the constant reminder of Satan the devil and the evil spirits and i said that the men of god are elevating the threat the men of god have made it in such a way that everything someone does the person is in constant fear if you don't succeed it is because spirits are attacking you if your parents died it's because the devil has attacked you. 
if you lost your job, it's because your enemies don't want you to succeed. There is always a sense of danger being insected in every single aspect of human life. It doesn't have to be like this. Honestly, it doesn't. There are things people have to do to ensure that they come ahead of a situation. If you want to succeed in your career, you need skills, you need dedication, you need consistency. If you want to succeed in a business, you need firstly to acquire a knowledge on how that business is being done. My Igbo brothers and sisters can teach you or can testify to this, can tell you how long they need to serve someone in order for them to build their skills and knowledge on a particular business before they can engage in it. But if you ask the man of God, Apostle Michael Awapo, he will say, the reason you are not succeeding in that business is not because you don't know anything about the business, but the enemies are fighting against you. And according to the man of God, it doesn't matter if you have skills or not. It doesn't matter if you are in the right place at the right time. It doesn't matter if you've done any research to understand if what you are buying or selling is being done correctly. It doesn't matter. As long as you are not a Christian, as long as you're not devoted to God, as long as you are not fasting and praying every single day and paying your tithe, that is very important, paying your tithe, evil spirits will attack you and they will fight against you and if you are not strong in the Lord, they will defeat you. That is what the man of God will want us to believe. But you see people out there who are just minding themselves, who are just doing their thing, who are just making sure that they understand what to buy, what to say. You can see them succeeding, isn't it? Where are the spirits? Where are the spirits? So, like the man of God, Dr. Herbert Damina said in this video, they want to keep you in a constant state of fear. They will use fear to hold you down. They will make sure that you are always scared. They will make sure that you always understand that there is this danger that will come to you if you move away from what they want you to do or where they want you to be. They will constantly remind you about that. I mean, constantly remind you. So, there is no peace in your mind. There is no happiness in your mind. Because if one day come and you don't do as you are told, you might not even get to heaven after spending 40 years trying to get to heaven. You might not get there because you have moved away from where you were not supposed to move. That's just my own take. Be it heaven at last or heaven at first, to me, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is the tactics that the men of God are using to hold down people. It's the overrated of Satan, the devil, and spirits in born-again churches. That is my major concern. But you guys, let us hear your take in the comment section below. Is it heaven at last or heaven at first? Which is it? What do you think? Share that with us in the comment section below. Like always, we love hearing what you have to say. Please like the video, share it, follow us on Facebook, and also subscribe to the channel because that helps us a lot and we shall ever be grateful to you.